On number 22 and 23, we're finding the coordinates of point P that partitions a segment in a given fraction or ratio. So first of all, I want to pay, you to pay attention to when you're given the fraction and when you have to come up with the fraction. So on number 22, we're told the fraction, but on number 23, we're given the ratio. So remember, when you're given the ratio, to convert that into the fractional part of that segment you want, you're going to put it as part over whole. So the 1 to 3 ratio, the 1 is the part, but the whole is adding those together. 1 plus 3 is 4. So on number 23, your fraction is 1 fourth, but on 22, your fraction is given. So remember the first thing you're going to do in finding the coordinates of point P is find your rise and your run. And you're finding those separately. You're not writing it as a slope that's been simplified. Remember that rise comes from your Y coordinate and run comes from your X coordinates. Remember these are directed line segments. We're going in the order from A to B. So A is our first point, B is our second point or our last point. So when we find the rise and run, always do second point minus first point. So for my rise, I'm going to do negative 6 minus 12, which gives me a rise of negative 18. So that makes sense. It went down 18 uni units. My run will be my second x minus my first x. 9 minus 3 is 6. After I find my rise and run, I'm ready to find the x and y coordinates of point P. To find my x, I want my fractional part of my run. Since I'm doing x, look at my run. So I want one-third of the run, which is 6. That tells me how far to go from my first point, which was point A. So I'm going to add that to the x coordinate of my original point. So remember to make sure everything has to do with x here. This is my run, and this is the x of my first point. So a third of 6 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. So my x coordinate is 5. The y coordinate, I want a third of the rise. So I want one third of the negative 18. That's how far I'm going but I want to get start at my original point which had a y of 12 so I'm going to add that to 12. So a third of negative 18 is negative 6, negative 6 plus 12 is 6. So my point P is the point 5, 6. Make sure your x coordinate is between the x coordinates of the points given and your y coordinate is between the y coordinates that are given which positive 6 is between 12 and negative 6. On number 23, we, um, our directed line segment is MQ. So point M is the first point, point Q is the second point. So when I find my rise, it's going to be the Y coordinates, the second Y minus the first Y. So I'd have 7 minus a negative 5, which is the same thing as 7 plus 5, which is 12. My run, which comes from the x coordinates, would be my second x minus my first x, so 4 minus 8, which is negative 4. So to find my x coordinate of point um, P, I want a fourth of the run, because I'm doing x. So a fourth of negative 4, that's how far I'm going from the original point, so I'm going to add that to the 8. Sorry, my lights went out, so I had to go move and make them come back on. So, a fourth of the negative 4 added to the original x, which is 8. So, a fourth of negative 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 8 is 7. To find my y coordinate, I want a fourth of the rise. So, a fourth of the 12, that's how far I'm going from my original point, whose y is negative 5. So a fourth of 12 is 3, 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. So point P is the point 7, negative 2. C 
7 is between 8 and 4. Negative 2 is between negative 5 and 7.